If you all can remember, we came in for session A long time ago. We start with these parents back in September, and they really don't know what they've gotten themselves into. We looked at the CSIP, that that is the school's blueprint to make sure that all kids are successful. And so it's just an amazing experience to watch them blossom and learn over the six days of training. You've gotten all this data together and we're going to bring it all together in writing your project. It's a tomorrow. wonderful opportunity that brings together two extremely important groups, educators and parents. I went right into the school, talked with the principal secretary if I saw him. I asked him if I could set something up. What we're about is parent engagement. That's what we were effective in doing, my group. We've had two So this isn't the under what did not work, this is under? This is number three. To get parents knowledgeable and gain those skills so they can be good partners in the schools in order to improve student achievement for all kids. So that is our purpose. It's crucial. Teachers and administrators cannot do this alone. We also talked about one call. Are all of you aware of one call right now? Okay. We are at a point educationally where we know it's time for parents to be much more involved. The principal loved the idea of the QFTs. It was eye-opening to look at the CSIP and see the gap with the plan versus the implementation. At Western, they had a PTA meeting, I believe, last night, and as a result of that, they've got a PT3 meeting on the schedule. All right. And I know that um, a lot of times it takes one parent or one person at a time to create change, and I know I can be that change. Did we get everybody? We did, didn't we? You all did some fabulous work. Let's come on up front. What we've seen through parents that have gone through this program is that it has instilled in them the desire to go on and further their own education. Some have gone on to serve as educators, become educators, get involved in special education issues. Um, we've had parents that have gone on to testify in front of the United States Congress, the Kentucky State Legislature, and they've been involved in actually making sure that laws are enacted to help kids. So this is a very powerful force um, from the point of just giving them uh, knowledge and power to improve their own families, but they more than often go out and improve the lives of other families as well. well all that has led to an acceleration of results. Front Creek High School is a perfect example. Our parents in the past have felt like we had not communicated with them on a frequent basis. Where they were involved in um, being a, a low performing or priority school and now they are coming out of it and are high performing. Oh, it has been absolutely wonderful. I love Diane. She's just awesome. We've worked together well because we both have a level of energy. And I'm so excited to work with her. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. And I feel like now after meeting the people that I have in G the G Simple training. Ronelle McCombs. That I now have a support group. <laughs> Material Macklin. Even though we're at different schools and going to have different projects, we can still bounce great ideas off one another. I think that's a benefit. And you can see the joy and the pride that they have in their eyes when they come up to get that diploma. Go and spread the word and have a great weekend. Okay? So it's just an amazing, amazing experience.